Oh my God, you guys are gonna get the first hand inside look at the moment I become a millionaire. Just watch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's video is about, you guessed it, shopping like me. So today I am showing you the $1 million puzzle. And so pretty much, um, I just took the plastic off. So really this is like an unboxing too. Um, I bought this puzzle probably like two months ago and I misplaced it. Like the day I was gonna start putting it together, I could not find it anywhere. And I finally just found it. Most random place. I accidentally stuck it somewhere with something on top of it. And like, I could not find it. I put it in my car actually in this thing with a bag on top of it. And so I never saw it. I couldn't find it. I was searching all over in the house in the basement upstairs. I was asking people if they got it. I thought maybe I just threw it away. Um, but this little box right here, it's pretty much a puzzle of a QR code. So here's a QR code. You pretty much put the puzzle together, you get a QR code and you scan it and you could win money. So anywhere between 25 cents to $1 million is what you can win by putting it together. So I'm gonna start working on this puzzle. Um, I will link uh, this down below. So if you wanna get one, I know last time with the first puzzle, they sold out pretty quickly. Um, so far it seems like it's not selling out quickly this time, but um, I will link that down below so you want to make sure to get your own puzzle uh, if you are interested in something like this. Um, let's see what I can do. There's one thing I'm going to say. I misplaced this for like two months and was freaking out. Like freaking out. So I said because I lost this and because I couldn't find this, this is the million dollar winner. It has to be. Absolutely. Has to be. I'm claiming it. Um, I'm claiming it now. So when I become a millionaire, um, because this puzzle, because I lost it and it was so hard and I figured, you know, the time would run out by the time I found it. So I am so excited that I found it. I am getting ready to start working on it now. Okay, instead of awkward quiet, I'm gonna read it. Assemble the QR code puzzle. There's no visual reference. Once assembled, take a picture with your phone, then you'll be directed to the website and you'll enter your secret prize code, which I'm covering up with my hand, although it's used, so really I don't know why I was doing that. Here it's giving you advice to take a picture of your secret prize code because once it's gone, it's gone, you can't get it back again. And this is what all the puzzle pieces look like. Is very colorful and pretty. Oh, it's actually colorful. Last time I thought it was like all one color. So I'm gonna start out by you always do the edges of a puzzle first. So I'm starting out with the edge pieces, and as you can see, there's like different colors and rainbows. So pretty much I'm gonna section them out by the different colors, and I'm guessing it's like an ombre shade, shades from yellow into orange. The purples have different shades, the blues have different shades. So I'm just gonna find all the edge pieces and then section them out by the color and work my way that way. Oh, my little one, she already, she said, mommy, can I help you puzzle? This is what I have so far. I've only been sorting through it for maybe three minutes or so. So these are my edge pieces so far. So far, like just initial thoughts, it's not very many pieces. And I feel like I could do this in a day. I feel like this is gonna be pretty easy because it's colorful. So I am like pretty glad What's about that. Now I just gotta keep this little one from trying to help me because she loves puzzles. I yeah. certainly do. <laughs> you certainly do? And I think she's already starting to put it together for me. She's actually really good. I certainly am. You certainly am. Okay, so I literally put this together in like 30 seconds. So um, I put her in charge of the blues. So I handed her all the blues that I had. I did not finish looking through the whole box. I just wanted to start with what I had so far so I could at least start getting a general shape. 
Um, but like I said, I put this together in like 30 seconds. Because of this ombre shade, it's like super easy to just glance at it and put it together. And the pieces are mm, okay. They don't like fit together perfectly tight. You see, they kind of like move and wobble, so that's a little annoying. Oh! I do have it on this uh, roll up mat I got from Amazon because I didn't know if I would be able to do it all in one setting dealing with her. I always typically have to stop. And here's the puzzle mat that I bought. Hopefully, it works well. I don't know. You just spread it out, you inflate it. And you roll it up and fasten it. Um, but considering it's so small and considering right now it seems so easy. I mean, maybe when I get to the insides, it's not going to be quite so easy. Actually, probably definitely won't be quite so easy when I get to the insides. But at least the outsides is going really fast. Um, I may not need the mat. I might be able to get it done today. That's my goal. Let's see. I want to be a millionaire. Let's get this million dollars done. This does not go here. So yeah, like I said, like it, they don't, they just don't tighten or stick together well. So like every time I add a piece, other pieces are popping off. And for being a $30 or $35 puzzle, I'm not sure how much it was, $30 puzzle, it's pretty cheaply made. I would like them to be like perfectly tight together like a very expensive puzzle because that is not cheap. So here's an example of quality. There's that. This is brand new, just open out of the box. I didn't do this. It's just cheaply made. Like I literally did this in a couple minutes, but mainly I've just been fighting with this because it just falls right back apart. Like super annoying. They like fall apart. They all kind of just fit together when they shouldn't. Really, really annoying. Okay, like, oh, maybe 15 minutes in. If that, Here's the extra pieces I just found, so I'm going to go stick these in where they're missing. I really don't know, you know, which side it's the QR code, so it's going to be a square, I know, or something like that. And I'm just pretty much matching them together. I don't think there really is a top or a bottom since it's a QR code. Um, I'm guessing purple's going to go with this bottom because this red shades into purple. And... There's a corner piece. It's a purple corner piece. So that's my assumption. There's a yellow corner piece. So I think that yellow corner piece is going to go there. And then this is going to go yellow down in the green, which is why I put that there. And then blue must be all down here. Okay, so I just stuck them all together. Probably two minutes later. Uh, so I'm missing a couple edge pieces. Something I think is a little wonky right here. Um, over here where it was bubbling up more, there was some pieces missing. So I stuck those in there. But like I said, a lot of these pieces, they just fit into each other, even though they shouldn't. You can see how they're all kind of cut a little similar. So that is quite annoying. Um, I guess it's just a cheaply made puzzle. but charging a premium price for that prize money. Um, and then here, yeah, missing a couple pieces here. There's the edge. This was the edge. All right, let's find those pieces. So I think it's at this point, instead of just sitting here searching through here looking for edge pieces, I'm going to go ahead and just separate them out by color. Um, that way that's already done, and then I'll find the edge pieces while I'm doing that. Okay, if you can see what I'm doing, you can really see like the shades. I'm putting it in the general area of that shade. You can kind of match it up. See, there's a little bit of green in there. So it goes somewhere in this area here. So I'm just kind of putting them out where they belong. Obviously, I'm not going to have enough space to do this for the whole thing. Um, but I just wanted to show you kind of how I'm sectioning it out. Okay, so I got this piece over here, or these two pieces here. Something is still a wonky here, so I think I have these pieces wrong. I'm not seeing it off the top of my head. So I'm just going to wait until I work on that piece. Um, so I separate out my colors. I kind of just stopped because I'm just running out of room. There's a lot. So I'm going to work on kind of like this corner here because I know this corner is good. Um, red, there seems to be a lot of. So I'm going to work on this purple 
they're varying shades. So I'm gonna separate them out by shades and then just start putting them together. Okay, it took me 30 minutes to do this purple side. Um, I'm making pretty good time. I think overall. Uh, I'm missing this piece. It's probably still in this box of stuff I haven't sorted. But I'm gonna put that piece in there. And then I think, I don't know if I wanna do the red because I feel like it's not varying colors, but I think I might do the yellow and the green because those colors are more distinctive than this. So I think I'm gonna do this corner next. Okay, so I was putting in pieces. I said I was gonna do over here, uh, but just me like trying to stand there. It was awkward. I didn't really have anywhere I could stand. Um, so somehow I just kept started doing this because this was kind of like a, I don't wanna say muddy color, but real muddy where you can see it has a little bit of all the colors together. So I went ahead and just completed all this and then somehow it just naturally led me into this orange and yellow. Um, so I guess I'm kind of going to do the orange and moving my way over to the yellow. So we'll see. I kind of keep jumping back down to this blue, but this blue is a little more challenging. The colors are just a little bit closer in hue. Uh, it's a little bit more real blue here and then more teal up here and then a light sky blue in here. So um, I'm still trying to work that, but I'm kind of just like seeing where the puzzle takes me naturally while I work on it. So I don't really have a way to record like me actually doing the puzzle. I don't know if you like watching that, but here's like a muddy green color. So see, it doesn't match that, but it does match around here. I mean, this one's kind of a muddy green too. So I'm gonna keep it in the general area. It has a little bit more yellow hue to it. So I don't think I'm quite there yet. So pretty much, yeah, just finding the colors because I have no picture to work off of. Um, so I'm just really looking at the hue of colors on this one. So like this is over here somewhere. Okay, so I have all the blue section done now and just working on like the teal. Uh, that was another 40 minutes. Um, but as you can see, I'm probably halfway done or more than halfway done with the puzzle. I just really had the red and the yellow and then the kind of the in-between orange um, and green. But yeah, all right, I'm making good progress. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to stop showing the video so you don't get my QR code. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I will have scanned it before then. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, so I got this part done, and then I did like this little part that wasn't done. So it was about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, so we just got the yellow, orange, and red right at the top, and we're almost done. Can't wait to be a millionaire. Let's see. Okay, yellow is done. It is 
1052. I'll have to do the math on that, but um, I don't remember what time it was before. So the yellow is done. Now I just got the red and orange. Almost done to win my million. All right, this red corner is getting on my last <laughs> nerve. I was also I was on the phone the whole time and messing with my daughter. So I'm not done, but all these colors are just like blending together. I don't know if my eyes are tired and I just can't see anymore, but these shades of red are just way too similar. And I got all this puzzle dust that's on this mat now. But yeah, the shades of red for this corner is just a little hard to tell <laughs> between them. So I'm struggling through it. We'll see what time I get this done. Okay, I am done. It's finished. It is 11.42. Um, I pretty much did it straight through. I just stopped to like feed my daughter, uh, feed myself, stuff like that. Talked on the phone. You know, did some stuff like that. But yeah, finished it all in one night. I don't know how many hours that was. I'm going to have to add up how many hours that is. And I don't know why I keep rubbing it. It's really pretty, the colors. But I'm getting ready to scan it. And the next time you hear my voice, I'm going to be a millionaire. So just you wait. Hold on. So I finished my puzzle and I scanned my code and I won... 25 cents so um yeah i spent all day doing this spent two months looking for this thing and freaking out and i won 25 cents so um i went ahead and claimed it so i can get my 25 cents by email it says you know what i'm gonna try again because actually you don't have to buy the puzzle to enter to win to get a code you actually can send like an index card with your information to the address that they provide on the website and you can enter to win and nobody reads the fine print so nobody knows that but i only figured that out because i couldn't find my puzzle and i was trying to figure out how do i get my code if i lost my puzzle i spent all this money um anyways i will put that down in the description make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think um if you guys are doing it yourself or what you thought about this video or whatever but if you like uh, other review videos tips, tricks, tutorials, other things like that, anything dealing with shopping, then uh, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.